I'll tell you what, we were absolutely dreading this because the reason I'm back here is um, tie on every course where the pillars are, every other course where the wall is, and that's pretty much it. He's doing well up there. I don't know. Oh, happy Monday. The what? 17th? Uh, 18th. 18th? Well, there you go. That was Saturday's work, all done and dusted. All nicely gone off. So we've got this pike to do today and this top section here. I'm currently in the process of putting the scaffold back up. Um, Alex just said, do you think we should film this? I thought, yeah, well, yeah. Usually handy if you're on YouTube to film what you're doing, isn't it? So next to go up there is the two short lengths and then no, no, we're doing the outriggers next. Then the two short lengths, then the planks, then the other two short lengths is a handrail. I mean, it's, 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 it's a bit short, but it's, it's only a couple of pillars. So it's a bit of a stretch, but we'll stretch and do that. Um, so I'll be up doing that. Alex is going to be down doing the mixing and the cutting. And then once this is up, we'll drop. Well, we'll, we'll probably just pick it up and move it over here. Thankfully, get there's no more cuts on this side. It's just, you can do the halves up there. Yeah, it's just the splits on the top, innit? Yeah. And um, and the tiny splits under the window. Yeah. Right. Yeah, cool. That's, that's the plan. Let's get on with it. Sorted by 25 past 8. So we're up to height, everything's up that we need except for the blocks. I'll be going up there, a little makeshift handrails up there. My right riggers are on, and the ladder's getting lashed. The drill's in the uh, tie box. Nice hey? Nice yeah. Yes. So, yeah, well, Alex just ties the ladder off. I'm going to start getting this mix on. Oh no, he's going to get the sand first. Get the sand first on. <coughs> then we can crack on. Oh yeah. Why don't you get up there and I'll get the uh, mix on? I'll be just sat there, won't I? I need to load you up, don't I? Yeah. Well, I'll get the mix started. You can load out. What's mixing? I'll get up there. Ten full blocks to go up there. And that lintel. Which is uh, about half the way to the other one, obviously. And just the splits to go over the top as the same as the other one.
so I better be quick it's half ten Alex went for break a while ago so I just stayed up here while I was up here used, the motor, used all the motor up there got all the tyres on that I could so that's the um, that's the black wake up those bottom two courses were damn hard um, <clears throat> once I got those two I was, I was ok and then got these three full blocks on next piece is a 170 cut which I'm going to get Alex to do while I have a break and then you can get her um, the other cuts done then so it's 170 cut for each each side, lintel on top of that, a couple little bits around it to finish it off, over the top and either side, and there's a thin slither across the block. Same as that side, maybe a little bit thicker. Window size is all correct. I'm gonna go and have a shop of coffee and a couple of butties, and I'll be back up here after break. And then that later on. He's doing well up there. I don't know if you said it on camera or not, but it is difficult up there with the fact that the scaffold is too small. It's a lot of leaning to do to get these pillars in and to get those ties screwed in, so he's doing very well up there. All he's got left now, I've done him the pieces for the top, and I'll go up there, jump up there and get the lintel on with him, and then we're just getting the, then we'll get those pieces measured up, and then those pieces measured up too. You can see him on that on there, it's like a little 20 mil piece there just to make it work. Maybe. It's a bit of a bigger one there, and these offcuts might just work. So, fingers crossed, but if not, no problem, because we've got to go and get more blocks anyway. We've only got... Yeah, well, we've still only got two full blocks left, and we've got a pike to do. I think we need eight blocks, he said, so it's not awful. Obviously, yeah, there's a lot of uh, fiddling around and cutting with some of these. But yeah, I'll, um, I'll get you back up there to him. We can get this course in and get the lint in. Alex is just coming up to help me on the lift with the lintel. Blocks, that's our height. And there's our bed. So just going to plug that on there. And then all the pieces are cut according to the lintel then. And then. Um, see down there. I'm so glad that we swapped the uh, big ones for these. Yes. I was able to get this up on my shoulder. Yeah. I don't know how I would have got those other ones up. Are you going to try and get that on there then? And yeah. Take it over the board. Right, <laughs> we need to be on the other side of this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, you spread a bit. Have you marked about 150 on each side? Pull it in, I'll mark it now. It wants to come to you a bit, doesn't it? Yeah. So that's it. 
bit. Showing you're in high or high and low. How much? Um, not a lot. Do you want to get you some slate? Maybe get a bit of slate on the back of This end's slightly low. Which means the brickwork on the house is slightly out because I put my block work in line with the, the brickwork on the house. So we need about 10 mil picking up at this end. So we're going to get a bit of slate. And that and then our oh, arches up here, I can hold that end and get it slid in up there. steady at the other end so it doesn't move. It's going to sink a little bit but that doesn't matter. Ready? Yep. I just don't want the colour to flex at all. Okay. Live as the public quiz answers. We're going to drop this scaffold because we're done. There you go. That was ground level, right doing about half the time, but because it's up here and uh, obviously our handrails are saving us, but they're in the way at the same time. So, um, yeah, it's a bit difficult to the bottom. Once we've got it higher up, it's quite easy. Nice lintel. I've, uh, I've just gone along the back of them in the back of those pieces so they're all flushed up. Um, tie on every course where the pillars are, every other course where the wall is and that's pretty much it. With that we've got one block left so we need seven blocks to finish the porch so we're going to drop this see if we can set it up on the front of the porch and then um, probably take all the gear with us, pack up, go for dinner, pick the stuff up and then come back after dinner and finish off. So let's get this thing dropped. Al. Don't drop it because you're filming. Here we go. One, two, three. I'll tell you what, I feel spoilt with these. 
We've just shifted it over, put a few pieces of block underneath, and there we go. That would have been right faff with the trestles. Yeah. I'm trying to set three trestles up there. Absolute faff. So there you go, we've got that set up now. We'll um we'll put the we'll put the riggers down just for some extra safety while we've got them. Yeah. And then um we'll have some quick lunch and then we'll go get some blocks. I'll um just I'll get the rest of it set up after lunch, so I'll get the boards on whatever you gives you something to do. And we can take some back now, ready to give to Robbie. So yeah. thank you Robbie. We'll uh, see you after lunch. Right, it is after lunch and I've for the most part got the scaffold ready, got the planks on, put the rigs on the side. I've had to do it a bit more on the side there so it doesn't be on the flat board. It's currently under the brace. But um but yeah, um, now that the scaffold's down, we can take a nice little look at, at all that. I'll tell you what, we were absolutely dreading this because we were just thinking how is it gonna get done? But now, it's up there. It's a very pleasant experience. Obviously, that part for that was very difficult because um, the scaffold was a bit too small, so it was a, a breach in frame, but he still managed to do it. And there we go. Lovely stuff. I'm chuffed with that. <laughs> but yeah, so all that's left now is that pike. There's nothing going on the sides because that's where the wall plate's gonna go. So all it is is us getting that pike in. I will get him what he needs now. He's going to go get the blocks, I think I've said that, but if not, while he goes to get them, I'll just do what I can, get a bit of tidying up done, get him uh, as set up as I can so we can just get here, get cracking. But yeah, I will let this charge for a bit, so uh, I'll catch you when, uh, when he's back. I'm not even going to mention going home twice. Oh. I'm not even going to mention going home twice. Right, sorry, that bridge was just fluid. Tell you what, this water is just... There's a lot to happen to it, Carpentry show. Pardon? New Urban Clinic's Carpentry show. Carpentry show. Yeah. 
carpentry shell. Comes on after Clive. Yeah. It's on for an hour. Is that it? Yeah, it's finished now. Try and cut it as straight as possible. Just cut the depth of the blade. Oh, for the ridge. Yeah. Yes, for the ridge. So make sure you put it against that wall. Sit it against that little door for when you're cutting it. Because you've got to cut it upright. Okay. And then. Tell us there if you want it. There's not really much else we can do with that. I'm fine with this. So, what should we do? Should we leave the straight edge on it to brace it? No, it's not, it's not bracing it, is it? It's just against it. Mm. It's not stopping it moving or anything. Screws it to that piece of timber and then just puts the grabber into that. That load the whole thing until he puts the roof on. There we go. That's just um. I've just made that up. I've, um, I've taken it 900 off lintel height. And as you can see, as you look down the wall there, part of my block work on the doorways crept in a bit there, which is no excuse. I've um, popped it up. Luckily, it's getting rendered, so I'll be able to just build a render out there. But I've reset the um, the pike out, and so it's all nice and plumb. I've cut, cut a notch out for the ridge, 
now the customer can put it whatever size ridge he wants and wherever he wants he can pack it across to the house so that worked out well that piece there because it's a nice solid piece for the ridge to go in um, we just need to tell him to put a piece of piece of timber on the wall and then screw a piece of timber to that onto here and then put a couple of grabbers into that just to brace the brace the the pike until the roof goes on it's so obviously it's a single skin and a bit of wind up when you get up now he'll have that over because it's not, it's not there's no return on it or anything so oh yeah we're done like i say that was that took twice as long as it should have done but it was awkward and um this I wasn't going to own up, but um, I've been owned twice for blocks. We ran out when I got some, didn't get enough, and had to go back for more. So, my own fault. But yeah, that's it. I'll do a little time lapse of tidying up and taking this scaffold down, and then I'll also do a sign out. And there we go, the finished product. There's a before, and there's the after. Today was a tough day, but that was still a million times easier than I thought it was gonna be. Especially since we changed them lintels, my God. <laughs> I did not know how we would've got those six befores or whatever up there. No chance in hell. But there we go. Obviously, uh, we've told the customer to give that brace tomorrow once the mortar's had a bit of time to go off. So, after after tonight, that'll be propped up and braced. Keep that safe, because being, being single skin, that's a bit unstable. <laughs> but the um, the wind is meant, isn't meant to be picking up, so that's good. But there you go, that's going to make their lives a lot easier with these windows. Instead of having nowhere to put curtains now, now they have. And uh, it'll be a lot warmer too. <laughs> but there we go. Quite a satisfying job to look at finished. A, lit a literal facelift. <laughs> so. Incoming message. Right. I'm interrupting Alex's outro because we're back. This is future Steve at the job, which is looking fantastic. Nice dark fascia boards going on. Customers on scaffold. The windows look fantastic. And it's coming together nicely. Then it'll be ready for the rendering then. The reason I'm back here is um, an imbecile at the window company told us that that was our measurement. Let me make that out. 2040 and before I started I asked the customer to ring up and check that all the size they've given us include the sill which he did spoke to someone at the company said yeah that's fine go ahead that's, they're the sizes you want and then when the customer went to put the windows in he checked them first and their measurements didn't include the sills so he's had to, we had, luckily the top was just a split so that's been taken out the bottom is had to grind the brickwork down as you can see in half courses. So, so luckily it's just the door. So my plan today is it's only a small pike. You can see my pencil line. That's the height. I need to take the top of the lintel too. So I'll just lower than that. And I'm gonna drill up either side with the. Uh, not so new looking drill now, it's been working hard that. And then I'm going to use the sawzall and just rip straight across, knock a bit of mortar up, lift the lintel up, put, put a piece under it, probably put slate under it or some of these um, 
his tiles, we'll pack it up and then he can get his door fitted. We can't take it down because it's a concrete sill and it's a low threshold so if we take it down any further the door won't open in and it'll be too close to the, the, the flag so it'll um, you get damp going in. So luckily the customer managed to all rest himself and just got us to, to do this bit. I feel sorry for him because we did check but um, apparently the fellow who told him all that doesn't work there anymore. I think they gave him a bit of compensation on, on each window which is which is good. And it's better than remaking them all making them all. At least all the widths are right, that's a relief. And when you hear this we've got a problem with the uh, the porch, you just immediately think you've made a mistake. And uh, no it's not my mistake. Which is always a big relief. So I'm gonna crack on with this once I've had my coffee. And then I'm heading off to start a repointing job while Alex relaxes at home in here. No, they're off to Liverpool today to watch Ghostbusters. So his mum's taking him to the station and I'm grafting on my own. But it stopped raining, that's the main thing. Well, let's get this coffee drunk and crack on. Um, it's out. I'm gonna. I've, I've cut under the, the, the. You've seen me cut under there, so that's dropped. So it should just slide out now. Um, and then it's just a matter of taking it out. And then another a new seat in at each end. And then re, re put and then reinsert it and truck point the top. I keep calling it truck pointing, but um, Andy Britlays Worldwide has done a proper video on truck pointing. Show them what tuck pointing really is, and I keep talking about tuck pointing and tuck pointers, and it's it's completely different. I need to find out what I, what they're called, so I'm not giving people false information. But um, if you watch Britlays Worldwide, Andy does a proper tuck pointing video, and it's a work of art. It's a, it's like a separate job from Britlane. Right, so let's get this sorted. You know, having the right tools for the job makes all the difference. Christ. I've just filmed myself taking it out and then gone to stop the camera and I started the camera so it's out. Like a div. We've been doing this five and a half years. There you go. Done. Cool. I might just chop it back here for the seat and take the middle section out and turn it upside down. That should do. Maybe take this down a slightly, we'll see. Well, uh, that's how it's working. So I'm going to measure it and I'm going to start fettling this. I didn't forget to film that, no one wants to see me do the hand mix. Just use the bucket trowel in the bucket. I bought a paddle mixer yesterday from um, the tool station. Yeah, tool station. And I can't find it in the van. I was supposed to be using that today with the drill and giving that a go, but anyway, that's going to come into the on the pointing job, that's why I've got it. Right, I'm ready. Slate's under there. I'm going to bed it on slate because it's only a thin bed. We'll put it on slate so it's a, a nice strong bed. And um, yeah, I don't want to put a 20, 20 mil piece of fiber light underneath it. So um, even though it's, as you can see, it won't be holding any weight because it's self supporting. But um, yeah, slate's under there. Try to keep it dry because it's still raining. Right, let's get this done. We're done. Uh, our measurement we're aiming for 
There you go. 2075. That should fit in nice there. It does look like big beg beds underneath the, the lintel, but they're, they're like two layers of slate under there. So it's going nowhere. So yeah, you can crack on with this porch now. There you go. In two days you won't even know I've been here once that's dried. So um over and out and I'll hand you back to Alex back in the past thank you very much for watching if you enjoyed be sure to give a thumbs up and if you're new to the channel and you want to see more hit subscribe and tap on that bell so you'll always know when we upload it's always a great help and massive nice help and we appreciate the support <laughs> any additional support you want to give there's a super thanks under the video or there's the paypal in the description that's not necessary by any means it's an extra way to support the channel which is always massively appreciated but yeah, there we go. This has been Brooklyn with Steve and Alex. With a whole front of a house redo. We'll see you in the next one.